सो गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज वेलकम बैक सो बहुत टाइम से देर वर लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल हु वॉन्टेड मी टू मेक सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल वीडियोज और असाइनमेंट एंड लैब वीडियोज about my course so my course in seneca is cloud architecture when i meet a lot of students from other colleges like gbc sheridan many of them say that they don't get as much assignments as much good assignments which they can use as projects in their resume and they wanted me to share my assignments with them unfortunately it's not ethical as well as it's not good for me to give the exact assignments out there but what i thought after that is even i wanted someone who can teach me the basics or how to go through assignments and assignments and labs are pretty difficult and good at the same time if you are a student currently for this course like cloud architecture this is going to be very beneficial for you plus if you are from another course or related to cloud and cyber security and you want to do projects or you want to learn what we are being taught at seneca because our assignments are pretty intensive i want you guys to know that for me to do these assignments it has taken a lot more hours and it's just that i am saving time for you guys but if you really want to learn um basically learn by reading the errors google those errors and then solve it that's what we did that's what i did and um that's what like everyone has to do when it's their struggling phase uh, but there are some times where even google does not um tell us what to do how to do so that's when i step in so what i'm going to be sharing in today's video is um a very good course that seneca has which is um incident response and forensics so basically scc815 is the code this subject is one of the best subjects that i feel because it goes in depth into um hands on cyber security tools and trainings which is super cool if you are in india you want to do like a mini project um this is for you let's hop in and let's start our session so what you are going to do in this for session i'm going to take it pretty light basically we are going to be installing digital forensic tools on our machine first thing that you need to do for this is you need to have a a virtual machine or you need to have a kali linux installed now if you have windows you have vmware etc but you have if you have a macbook like me if you have an m1 macbook then you don't really have much options so the only option that you have to be honest is parallel desktop this is basically what you have um a parallel desktop so what you can do and why we need this is because even though you have a mac you can simultaneously run uh, a windows 11 you can run kali linux that mostly we are going to use in our lab It's only 14 days trial free and rest you need to purchase but a quick trick that i can tell you guys how you can use it for free and how even i use it for free even though my trial is um expired is that um if you have a mac so just go here um go to your date and time and basically i have set a date and time when the trial was in run like when the trial was active so 25th september once i save it um and i close it So now when I run parallel desktop uh it basically says that it has 4 days or 5 days of trial left so I can basically use it then okay so this lab is going to be um done on kali linux so the first part is going to be installing kali linux so I have two machines already but for you what you need to do is just click plus here go continue and uh, if you want windows select windows 11 if you want kali linux just click this and it will automatically add kali linux um and it will show up here okay then all you need to do is just just start your machine okay see it says 4 days remaining if i have choose uh, if i would have choose the date like 24 it would be 5 days remaining but it doesn't matter until we get the access of the kali linux we are good okay so now as you can see what virtual machine basically does is um it lets me run a linux operating system on top of my mac os okay 
So this is like the very first step that we need to do before we install our um, forensic tools. Okay. Um, the next thing that we need to do is um, we need to download a fat keyword test file. So for that, we need to go to a link. Okay. So now instead of opening it on my um, desktop on Mac, I'm going to open it on Kali Linux because at the end I want to download it there. So I need to download a fat keyword search text file. So I'm going to perform everything here and I'm going to download the zip file from here. Okay. Just by clicking on zip and it will download the um, file for testing. And I, I'll let you guys know the other part. I'll just save it. Um, I should know where it is. So I'll pull it to desktop. Cool. So now we have this file on our desktop. Okay. Now just double click or let me just extract it. Okay. I have this. Okay. So this is the image that yeah, we are going to be working with. Okay. This, um, fat image dot DD. Okay. So this is the main image that we are going to be working with. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to check the MD five sum of this image file dot dd file and make sure it is same as it is mentioned on the website okay so to check that okay so here is that you see the md5 of the image is this okay it says the md5 is this so when i run it on my machine the md5 it should come out the same so i'll just open a terminal okay and there's a very simple command that you guys need to check, uh, you know, you guys need to do in order to check the MD five, sum value of a file. Okay. So it's just MD five. sum. okay. And then instead of writing the whole path, just drag the file here. Okay, cool. Now, once you press enter, it's going to show you the MD five sum. So it starts with BAC and ends with AOA. Okay. So this should be same as on the website BAC and ends with AOA. Okay. So when two files have the same MD five sum, that means they are exactly the same file, because if there's even a small change in a file, then the MD five sum will be drastically different. Okay. So in order to make sure that two files are exactly the same, that's when we check the MD five sum. And if they're both the same, then it means that it's exactly that file that we needed to download. Okay. So this marks our second part also. Okay. So we have done this part. We checked the MD five of the image and checked it with the publisher. Okay. okay. So next thing we need to do is we need to, um, use autopsy. Okay. We can perform file analysis with it with autopsy. It's like a forensic tool with that. You can create cases. And uh, as you move forward, you, you will understand what autopsy is. Okay. I do just not just as I type autopsy. So, but okay, but this is the link that, um, autopsy gives us. So I will just copy it and on the browser, when you paste it, uh, it will not be able to connect. Um, the reason for that is you need to have pseudo permissions in order to run autopsy. So as soon as I do pseudo autopsy and it asks me the password for my local machine. And now when I go here and run refresh comes the autopsy tool. Okay. So this is the autopsy forensic browser and everything that you're going to do is it's going to be here. Okay. So now what you need to do is you need to create a new case. Okay. So when you click on new case, you need to give a case name. Okay. Name it grow lab one or grow lab test and uh, investigators name me because I'm doing it. You can name anything. It's not necessary. If you do, uh, you need to fill everything. Like some things are optional. Okay. Then you just do create case, um, name of the list, host name can be anything. Um, time name, time zone. You don't need to specify everything. Okay. Just click add hosts. Um, now it says add image. Okay. So dot DD file is actually an image file. Okay. Um, it's not like a JPG type image, but it's, it's what call an image file. Okay. 
So when I do the image file, now I need to specify the location of the image file because I want to perform the autopsy operation on that file. So all I do is I minimize this for now. I go right click, um, I go to properties and here you see the exact location, okay? So you first copy this, you paste this, then you put another slash and uh, then you type in the name of the file, okay? FAD-IMG, which is like this, okay? FAD-IMG-KW.DD, okay? So this is the whole file location. And now when you select the type of the disk, um, you have to select it as a partition because this is not a disk file, okay? And then the import method basically means when you do copy, it will copy this exact file onto autopsy, okay? An exact replica of that file. If you do move, then this will just move this file directly from here and your original file would be gone from your desktop. So you don't need to do that. And what's the use of doing this? So if you have someone who has done some bad habits and you are the cybersecurity officer who has been given the duty to um, examine the drive and examine the files of the, the bad guy. So you, what you need to do is instead of performing all the operations on the original file, because then there are chances for the original uh, proof to be maybe get corrupted as well. And then you don't have anything to catch the bad guy with. So what you do is you basically with autopsy, copy that file and perform all the operations on that copy. And the original file remains intact. So that's what the whole purpose of this in a nutshell is. So you just select copy, you go next. And now um, if I need to verify that this file and the file that autopsy copies is the same file. I need to just do calculate the hash value and verify the hash value. Okay. And the file system type is FAT16. You guys will learn about FAT16, FAT32. Um, these are in the labs after this. But for now, just know that the file system type of this file is FAT16. Okay. When I do add, um, okay. So now you see, it says when I did calculate the MD5, it starts with BAC, ends with AOA. Um, so this is the exact copy of this file that autopsy has. And now all I need to do is do okay. Okay. So now in the gallery, I have the exact file here with me and all the operations are going to be done on this file. All the analysis part is going to be done on this file. Okay. Now in order to analyze this image file, all I need to do is just click analyze here and go to file analysis. Okay. In the analysis, you need to get a list of MD5 hashes for the file. Okay. So to get the list of MD5 hashes, all you need to do is, sorry for the fire alarm. All you need to do is click on file analysis and generate MD5 list of files. Okay. So for all the files, you will see the MD5 list values here, MD5 values. And this basically marks the end for part one. And uh, you guys have successfully um, done the first part of the lab. So now you know uh, how to import an uh, image file onto autopsy and um, how to calculate the MD5 values of the contents in the file and how to basically analyze um, any file. This is the first part of the assignment and this was pretty simple, I'm telling you, because later on it's going to get more complex and this is just one subject and this is a pretty interesting subject. So the labs are pretty interesting as well. You get to do hands-on stuff. Um, as soon as you progress more and more, we have more subjects like CLO 835, which is, that course is amazing. So for that course, um, it's going to be much more intense than this. Um, I hope you guys were able to understand this lab. And this is what you need to do for the part one. In the next video, maybe I'm going to show you guys the part two. So don't worry, on this channel, you're going to see my vlogs as well, as well as whatever projects I'm going to do, whatever projects you can do, um, and everything else like this. So if you want to try it, do it by yourself. 
you can do it as well um or else if you are coming to, into this course um you guys can see what we are doing okay i hope this was informative and you guys got to know about what we do this is a very very basic lab and um, we are going to go much more deeper in the upcoming videos i know that in the future the videos that i'm going to post um they are going to help you guys a lot with certain subjects because they are very tough if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it really means a lot to me if you have any other doubts which are specifically related to your career or um other things related to these then you can always message me on linkedin directly um if not you can always dm me on instagram or comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one take care